In part 21 of our build guide, we start the engine for the first time. Install a 5 16 vacuum cap on the radiator vent tube. Remove the radiator cap. Disconnect the passenger side hose from the cylinder head. Pour coolant into the hose while someone watches the level in the radiator. Install the radiator cap when the coolant reaches the top of the radiator. Then reconnect the passenger side hose. Pour coolant into the overflow reservoir. Keep pouring until the level is above the ridge in the tank. Unbolt the reservoir and lift it above the engine. Remove the cap and massage the coolant hoses to get the air out of the lines. Keep adding coolant and massaging the hoses until no more bubbles come out. The system should hold about 2 gallons of coolant. Bolt the tank back to the frame and install the cap. If your transmission is an automatic, use a 10 mm socket to install the transmission fluid loop on the front of the transmission. Connect the automatic gear selector wires. Push the gear select cable all the way in to put it in park. Manual cars need their transmission shift arms in the middle positions to be in neutral. Install the battery hold down studs into the battery box. Put the battery in and slip the battery hold down strap on the studs. Mark the studs one inch up from the hold down strap. We use one inch wide tape to mark them. Remove the battery and studs. Trim the studs where you mark them. Reinstall the studs, battery, and hold down strap. Use a half inch socket to tighten the nylock nuts until the hold down strap is tight against the battery. Don't over tighten them. Push the positive terminal onto the post. Make sure it is all the way down before tightening the nut with a 10 mm socket. Close the plastic cover. Connect the BCM power wire and zip tie it to the frame. Push the negative terminal onto the negative post. Don't tighten it at this time. Uncover the throttle body and valve cover vent. Turn the key to the run position. Test the throttle pedal to see if the butterfly reacts. If the ignition switch or throttle won't work, go to our forum for help. Pour in about an eighth of a tank of fuel. Remove the fuse box lid and the fuel pump relay. Jump the fuel pump to prime it. Listen for the fuel pump to pick up fuel. Disconnect the jumper and install the relay and fuse box lid. A Bluetooth OBD2 reader is very useful for reading coolant temperature during the first start. You can buy one online for $10 to $20. Before starting it, check your oil level. Also, temporarily install the down pipe with the two catalytic converters to keep the noise level down. Make sure your area is well ventilated and start the engine. Hold the engine at 2000 RPM to warm it up. If you still had air in your radiator hoses, the coolant overflow tank might need to be topped off as the engine runs and air is purged. In the next video, we'll finish up the first stage of the Goblin Kit.